the sunflower with a little twist, okay? You guys have all seen, you know, right now the big thing is um, like a sunflower with a skull in the center for Halloween. Uh, a lot of people are doing those as wreath attachments. Hold on a second. getting in. Uh, anyways, so a lot of people are making the uh, like small sunflowers and putting a little skull in the center of the sunflower and using them as um, picks and attachments. We are going to make a sunflower with the regular center, but then I'm going to show you how we're going to turn it into Halloween. Okay, so all I'm using is the sunflower wreath kit, which comes with your pre-cut mesh, the green and the yellow, um, the cutters, your Unique in the Creek uh, zip ties, uh, a center, hello, 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 uh, with a cable mount and a pipe cleaner for the back of your center, um, and the large board. What I have purchased to turn mine into a Halloween wreath in you know mid September, as I bought this plastic black mask off Amazon. Now it's a skeleton mask, okay. Um, I believe it's for paintball, okay, because it's it's got padding and everything on it. We are going to deconstruct this bad boy and make it so that we can put it in the center of our sunflower to make it Halloween after, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this band that's on here. Now you can use, uh, if you wanna do something like this, you can use um, one of those foam 3D skeleton um, heads or skulls, what I, I didn't mean skeleton, skulls, and cut it in half. And also I have a, a couple six inch signs that are 3D that look like the skull is, is popping off the uh, wreath sign. I have not posted those. I'm working on everything right now. We have new um, vinyls and signs going, going to be posted very shortly, um, but you could use that six inch um, 3D skull uh, center in the middle too. If you want to switch this out and make it Halloween-y. Alrighty. Okay, so there's my mask and I'm going to up it a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape some lights to the inside of my mask. I'm going to illuminate the mask and it will turn on at night. Um, so on the sides here, you'll see for this particular mask, um, and that I uh, there's slits there. I'm just gonna use pipe cleaners, two pipe cleaners in those two slits to attach them to my board. Okay, so just like this. And then like this. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna get some scotch tape. And this is pretty thick. Yeah, the lights are available at Unique in the Creek. These are timer lights that do turn on and off. I'm gonna, gonna kinda, I don't wanna see the lights. I just want them to illuminate inside the mask. So there's 20 lights on this string. So I'm just gonna kind of tape two at a time to the inside of the mask. So you won't see, we don't want to see the lights. We just want the mask to illuminate, okay? So 
I'm just taping kind of two bulbs at a time on the inner part of the mask here. Without seeing the light bulbs. I don't want to see the light bulbs through the, because this is like a plastic, black plastic in the eye there. You don't want to see the light bulb. You're going to Ottawa or Iowa. That's pretty cool. Now this is a some kind of rubber thing for your forehead. I can just pull that out since we're not really using it for the purpose. Hello, hello. I think it would be cool. It's a good way to, a good wreath to, um, from to transfer from summer over to Halloween. Now I don't really do Halloween, but this will probably be super cool. Again, I'm just taping them in. How is everybody doing? All your family lives in Iowa. Well, that's where you need to be. when I turn this on you're not going to see any of these wires or the light bulbs so tomorrow is Lolly's official last day of high school hi Alva hi Nancy hi Sandra hi everybody yes she made it through high school Yay! Her last high school exam is tomorrow, and she is done. She graduates on Tuesday. I am live on Facebook. Did it not work again? No, it's, it seems to be working. Yeah. Both Facebook and YouTube. Okay. I know. I can't believe. I'm excited that all, all three of my kids graduated high school, which means I did good. <laughs> I did good as a parent. We all, any parents, we all think the same. As long as they get their staples in life, you've done your job, right? All right, two more light bulbs. And then this, I'll just, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Just probably attach it to the board because we're just gonna pipe cleaner these on. Um, if I just attach it to the center of the board, um, I can undo the pipe cleaners if I need to change the battery. Here. I'm just there's no rhyme or reason of where I'm putting these light bulbs just kind of wherever they fall we'll turn them on in a second right I guided them I think I did pretty good considering for a long time I was a single parent but you guys didn't know that all right, let's see how our, guess you won't be able to really see that until I shut the light off. But 
As I'm looking through the eyes and everything, I do not see any wires and I do not see any light bulbs. So I accomplished what I wanna do and I just taped it inside. Now, once you've taped them, you can put a little bit of hot glue in there. Let's see, I got my hot glue on. I don't know if it's hot enough. But we can just kind of go over the wires with some hot glue. And then um, if the tape gives way, they're not gonna go anywhere. All right, I have just a little bit of hot glue. So that's the inside of my mask. Pretty cool, huh? We will put this on after we've made our creation. So this is the bag it came in. I'm gonna have to post the link. Like I said, it was just a skull mask and I believe it's for um, paintball. I think it was like $10. So it's gonna turn out really cool. Hi, Tom Hutton. All right, so. This flower that I'm doing, I'm going to be doing the, um, oh, what's it called? Ah, uh, the pinwheel pedal. I don't think you guys seen me do that before. Michelle has done it a few times. Um, we're gonna be using the large board. On row two, we are going to be using regular holes. So down and up. So there's 16 on row two, regular holes. Row three, we're gonna be using eight pieces, regular holes. And row four, we're gonna be doing eight pieces, regular holes. But row four, I'm also gonna go on top with a different petal because I want the center of my sunflower and my mask to be sitting down in the flower. So you won't see the, if I put this down in there, you won't see this part of it at all. So I wanna nestle it kind of into my flower. Hopefully, we'll see if it works. So I have loaded, preloaded row two, regular holes, which is 16, row three, regular holes, which is eight, row four, regular holes, which is another eight. Okay, in the pre-cut kit, you get 40 pieces, four zero pieces of yellow and eight pieces of green. What I'm gonna do is the eight pieces of green, I am putting eight pieces on row two in every other for the green. Now the petal for this is take your 10 and a half by 10 and a half piece of mesh Put it into a diamond shape. I have my um, factory edges on the top left, bottom right, okay? I'm gonna take this top corner, bring it down to the bottom corner, line up the edges, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we won't see, with this petal, you don't see any of the cut edges, okay? So once you have in a triangle shape, you're gonna take your right, I'm right-handed, so I use the right corner and bring it, so this top part is gonna go right down the middle. So fold it in and bring it right down the middle and then the edge will be lined up. There's this edge. This edge will be lined up right here, okay? That is our first side. Then you're gonna flip your mesh over and you're gonna do the same on the other side. So you're gonna take this corner again, bring it right down. Okay, and this is what you get. And we're gonna pinch it about two inches. So there's the end of my tail. I'm pinching it about two inches up. And then it doesn't really matter what side you use because both sides are exactly the same, okay? So it kind of looks like a pinwheel. Then I'm gonna put the, where I pinched about two and a half inches in, I'm gonna put the tail into my preloaded zip tie and do it up. 
okay? And I'm doing the green on every other. So there's eight pieces. Corner down, make your triangle, bring your right corner down to the bottom corner, line this up, okay, flip it over, and we're going to do the same on the other side. So this is a really good petal for um, beginners because we don't have to worry about um, any strings or frays. Okay, and again, about two inches from the bottom tail, we're going to skip this one and we're going to put it in here. So you're putting eight pieces of the green on row two. about two inches up and again we're going to skip this one and put it in so once you have your eight pieces of green you're going to cut the zip tie tails off with your wire nippers okay don't use your good scissors you can use scissors but if you have good ribbon scissors don't use your good ribbon scissors to cut the zip tie tails because they will dull them all right, now we're going to go back and put yellow ones of the exact same petal in the remaining uh, zip ties, okay? So again, exact same thing. Now with the folded mesh, it's really nice because your mesh comes all flattened already. Now with, there is going to be strings with your cut mesh. Um, that is just because the handling of it to package and everything, um, it starts to fray. Just trim them off. You just have to trim off the fray a little bit. But it, they're, they're nice because they're flat. So you get nice petals. So bring it down, flip it over. Bring the other down. So it's kind of squared at the top. Almost like the tulip petal, but not... The tulip petal is more of a three-dimensional petal. This one's more of a flat petal. So you're making a square pretty much and then pinching it about two inches up put it into your zip tie where your fingers are this petal I've never done so there is not a replay except for this one but Michelle from monkeys creations has done this petal quite a few times and I believe Stacy from your front door has made this petal a few times and Carrie from Carrie's Wreaths on YouTube has made it. So it's, it's a popular petal. It's nice because it's the same on both sides. All right, so there's the eight yellow on row two and the eight green on row two. So we'll cut these zip tail tie tails off. Okay, now we're going on row three. And the reason I went with this kind of petal for this, uh, this particular wreath is because I'm going to be handling it to change out after the summer, to change out my, my center to put in my skull. Um, I, I want, if you do a, a petal like this, when there's no edges showing, um, it'll always look you know, like brand new. So you won't have any frays or anything. So when I go to change it out in September, it's still gonna look the same. So that's why I'm kind of doing a petal with 
that you can handle and that can be sitting on your door for a few months and you still can change it out. I am doing good. So this is the pinwheel pedal. It's almost like the Gerbera pedal, but you're flipping it over. And when you flip it over, it makes it the same on both sides. And just going in the eight pieces on row three. You do this one a lot, Amy. That's the first time I've done it. It's actually a very nice petal. Gives you good dimension for your flowers. And Dave, I, he did put a bunch of the pre-cut sunflower kits on the website again this morning and they're gone. Like I said at the beginning, we just can't keep them, <laughs> can't keep it in stock. I don't know if it's because it's pre-cut mesh or because there's a lack of yellow everywhere. Yes, no exposed edges. Which, because I'm going to repurpose this at, for Halloween, we want it to look really good in a couple months. All right, row four, again, another eight pieces. My shoulder is doing better. Once I stopped physio, it seemed to have gotten better. I don't know if it was because physio, I was, you know, constantly using it. It felt like it wasn't, wasn't getting better. Funny you say that, Debbie. Someone may be working on that sort of thing. <laughs> I will let you know when it's done. <laughs> I just got so much on my plate. You found me, yay. So again, I'm just going around, just pick wherever on row, uh, row four, and then we're just gonna go around counterclockwise or clockwise. It's, well, my shoulder is not completely, like it's still sore, but not like it was. I don't shudder every time I move my arm anymore, like I was before. I gotta say I'm loving the cut mesh, man. I just wish we could go a little bit faster. Yes, I, we're gonna keep adding them until we're out of yellow. So I stocked piled a whole bunch of yellow when I got my order in in January because we knew eventually we would have these um, pre-cut kits. It was just waiting for all the components. But it seems we can't make them fast enough. <laughs> too. This piece is kind of wonky, but you know what? Because we, like I said, we're not seeing any of the edges. It doesn't really matter if it's wonky or not. Just keep making it exactly the same that you made the other ones because it does turn out. Two more. Yeah, kind of opened a can of worms that kind of, I knew it was going to explode, and we didn't even we haven't really even announced or launched our pre-cut mesh kits yet. Um, 
just to you guys. So, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, last one for row four. And then, like I said, I'm going to be doing a different petal right on top of these ones I'm putting in. Okay, so that's, we did eight yellow on two, on row two, eight yellow on row three, and eight yellow on row four. So, so far we've only eight, 16, 24 pieces. We have 40 pieces. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I want my sunflower center to be kind of down in the sunflower. And I'll show you, same with my mask. I want my mask, probably tape that right there. I want my mask kind of down in the sunflower. Oh my God, look how cool that is. So we're gonna do a different petal over top. So first we'll put the regular sunflower center in. So you just take the tape off. There's a little dot on the back of your styrofoam. Pull the paper off your cable mount. And then we're gonna go in the center that's where we're going to go put our, our sunflower center however like I said I want it kind of deep down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over top of the, the petals on row four with another zip tie okay And we're going to do, I don't know, Star Trek pedal in there. Or maybe, maybe I'll see if I can do a pinwheel pedal, just smaller. So we're just playing around with the sunflower and we're going to do it for summer and then do a switcheroo for Halloween. So that is a big thing right now is the flowers for Halloween with the skulls in the center. So you could actually do this on a small board. Where's my small board? You can do it on a small board and actually use that small board as a wreath attachment onto an oval board. That would be really cool. I did that with a daisy and it looked super cool. So you could do the same thing um, with a sunflower and put one of the skulls in the center. All right. First I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see if I can make a smaller pinwheel. That's gonna kind of stick up. I don't want it flat. So if I pinch, oh, that works. So I'm just pinching up a lot higher. Cut some of this excess off and see how it looks. I'm putting it right in to the bottom of the zip tie, hits the bottom of the mesh here. So it's just a smaller, oh, that's gonna work, a smaller kind of pinwheel pedal. The 
Let's go with that. It's actually beautiful outside. We need to get more rain though. doing the exact same, we're just making a small one. Okay, there we go. Cut the excess. And I'm putting it into my zip tie, which are the ones right over top of row four, right until the zip tie hits the bottom of the mesh and then do it up. And then we'll bring these up. So as you can see, once I'm done, the sunflower center will sit kind of nested into this, um, into the, the middle. We had a few little sprinkles, not even enough to make my grass green again. Was asking about um, Kathleen even if you if you can't get the cutters you can just buy inexpensive scissors at the dollar store and just give them scissors to cut their zip ties with and just keep those scissors for your future classes just mark them as you know non ribbon scissors We'll probably have more sunflower kits tomorrow, but I'm gonna tell you that we're almost running out of the yellow, even though I stockpiled a lot of it. <laughs> okay, so just to recap, we are, I did put a petal on row four and we are going over top of that petal with another petal. Oh, you have found some and they're up now? You sneaky, see what happens when you guys watch my lives? Dave just said he just put some up again. Yeah, this pot, it's a different petal and it's very, quite easy to do and it's very, it looks nice and neat and it's very easy to teach, right? And there's no strings, there's no nothing, so, which means it'll last longer on the door. Again, these little smaller ones, I'm just putting the tail right in until it hits the bottom. This is actually a really good one for anybody that's teaching sunflower wreaths in a class. Because if you're teaching it like this, then you're not having to worry about if your mesh is completely perfectly squared, and if there's, you know, phrase on your mesh, it makes a nicer end product. 
when you don't have to worry about the strings. All right, two more, or one more. So I have a bunch of extra left as well, so. Hello, Tanya. They're probably gone, Nina. <laughs> Okay, so every other one is kind of in behind. So this one, this one, this one, and this one is in the front. These ones are kind of in behind. I'm going to cut my zip ties off. We'll put our center in and then we'll nestle it. pieces of mesh left over. So what I'm going to do, and I've started to do, I'm going to put a start with my eight pieces of, of mesh, I'm going to put a zip tie in the, this is row four, and the shared holes. So there's a, it's a longer um, space, right? We're going to do zip ties in that those longer spaces and I am going to so go down and up in that space unless you want to have like the eight pieces of mesh left over and hanging out I hate that so let's use it up and this is great for again for anybody that's doing a sunflower wreath class so I have when it's finished, row four will look like a complete round circle of stitching, okay? And what I'm going to do with these eight pieces, I've already done six. I'm just going to go and put in Star Trek petals, kind of upside down, so they're 3D-ish. Like if you look at the side view, see how they're sticking up? And then for sure my center is going to go down. Um, it's going to be, sink down. So what you're going to do again, take your 10 by 10 piece, we're going to fold it down and this is just the basic um, Star Trek petal. So put your petal into a triangle like we've been doing. This time you're going to take your right corner, bring it all the way over so it meets your left corner. Okay, and this is where we get the word Star Trek because it looks like the Star Trek symbol, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this end, fold it over again, put it on my table so that the two corners are sitting on the table, hold it right there like this, and it kinda looks like a shoehorn when you do this, right? push down kind of in the center where it's popped up, just push down in the center and you'll see these two corners will pop up. Bring those two corners together like this and you can flatten, bring that edge in, bring this edge in and normally that's the flat side of the Star Trek puddle. I want mine more 3D-ish, so I'm going to use this side of the petal so it looks like a scoop. I'm going to cut the excess off, and I'm going to put this petal 
facing upwards into our shared zip tie that we just put in. Okay, and you want to do this petal the same every way that all your openings. Oh, this one's weird. Well, you want to do it so all your openings are the same. Obviously, I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> we'll do that again. But you can't really tell anyways. I'm not going to change it or anything. But you, you do want all your openings the same way. I stupid sometimes. So, again, top corner down to your bottom corner. Take your right corner, bring it right over onto your left corner. So when you, you have your Star Trek petals formation, then I'm going to take this edge, bring it right over. Okay, take that. And when you push it down, it kind of looks like your shoehorn. Push the center down so it spreads out these two corners right there. Grab those two corners in the center. Bring this in, bring this in, and we trim excess off and put it in. There, I used up the eight pieces of mesh. Alrighty, oh, that looks really cool. And now we're going to cut the rest of the zip tie tails off. Now it's really, my mask and my center is really going to be nestled in there. Okay, so again, where I went with those Star Trek petals are the shared spaces. Okay. Now let's nestle that little bad boy in there. my pipe cleaner it's too short now the only thing with doing the petals this way is your flowers pretty much not going to fit between two doors anymore so you have to kind of know where you're wanting to sell this. There we go. Now it's really nestled into the center of my sunflower. There's the side view. So it's, you can see that it's really 3D and it's enclosing onto the sunflower center. Isn't that pretty? There you go. And then we'll do the same thing with the mask. down onto the center. So there we just used the whole 40 pieces of mesh that was in there. Oh, yes. See how that really is nestled in now to the center of the sunflower. Super cool. All right, that's what all I wanted to show you guys because I was going to take a picture and I thought, oh gosh, they're all gonna wonder how I did that. So that's what I did. Okay guys, that's on row four and row five, we didn't do anything. Okay, row five is empty. Okay, so all right. if we're just doing, well, let's put our hanger on. So if you flip it over at the top here, we're gonna use these two holes right here to put a, a hanger on it so they can hang it, right? So look how nice and neat the back is. So I, you can see it better here. There's every other in green of eight on row two, then every other, another eight on ye of yellow on row two. Row three was just yellow. Row four, I did yellow, and then we did another yellow on top of a smaller pinwheel. Then I'm gonna take the two ends of the pipe cleaners Put them right down the center. Okay, and it's going to be kind of a tight fit, but we're going to push them, push it in. Okay, 
give it a twist. And then I'm just going to kind of pull these up. So these are the eight smaller ones we put over top on row four. cool looking. So there we go. Summer. So there's the front. And there's the back. So we would just, you can just go back down with your pipe cleaners. Now you don't want to glue your pipe cleaners in because we're going to switch this. So you would just cut down your pipe cleaners and there you go. Done, right? So I'm just gonna put, cut a piece of this Velcro so I can put it on the back of my batteries. And I'm just gonna put my battery, my battery pack right in the center of the board. Now this is a this is a timered light, so it will shut itself on and off. So once you turn it on, it stays on for uh, eight hours, and then it shuts itself off. So it'll come on the same time every day. So you don't have to worry about turning your mask on and off. The only thing you'll have to worry about is when your batteries, when your batteries die, um, but we're going to be Velcroing. I'm putting the Velcroed battery pack right in the center on the board. Nobody's going to see it. And then I'm going to kind of nestle this in as best I can. And pipe cleaner it to the board. I'm probably going to have to do this on a small board as well because as a wreath attachment that would be so cool like I did the daisy and then after I put did the small daisy I did attach the small daisy onto the oval board a decorated oval board. It turned out so cool. This is a uh, emerald green, I believe. Emerald or hunter will work. Hunter green or emerald green. Pulling from behind so I can get a nice and tight why these flower with skulls are so popular this year but I'm seeing them everywhere so, so but I seen them as wreath attachments and I'm thinking why not have a big one just the actual sunflower itself with a skull in the middle oh we don't want to see these Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Pull this up a bit. I'm going 
to shut the light off so you guys can see. Yeah, with a sugar skull or something. And for some reason, flowers with stuck skulls in the middle are really popular. But I can see why. It's super cool. I got to shut the light off so you guys can see this. sure we can't see anything. Look how cool it is. Even if you don't like Halloween, it's super cool. You just switch it out. What do you guys think? Isn't it cool? And there's the back, so we'll just put these down. So you can switch them out, swap it out. Super cool, I love it. It's not, it's, it's not flashing here, guys. It's only flashing on the screen. I don't know why, but the light, the lights inside are not flashing. They're just on. All right. Yes, that's pretty cool. And there's our back. So you can't see any of the lights inside. And you can't see my battery pack. But if I need to change the battery, I just have to undo the pipe cleaners, pull the mask off, and switch the lights and put it back down. Super cool.